When we think of family favorites, we think of comfort foods. And today we're making another classic comfort food, a chicken broccoli casserole with a couple of twists that make it the best version I've ever had. Hi, I'm Deb, and this is my kitchen. Here we cover recipes that anyone can do, plus cooking skills and tips on making your dinner table the family center of your home, because I believe that's where family is built. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell so you don't miss an episode. Are you ready? Because the kitchen is now open. Come on in. Let's cook up something good. This recipe makes a family-sized casserole in a five-quart baking dish. Leftovers of this big batch can be frozen and reheated in the microwave. The ingredients I'll be using are three to four large broccoli crowns, two to two and a half pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast, one cup of light mayonnaise, three cans of condensed cream of chicken soup, a half a teaspoon of cumin, and about two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. The first step is to cook the chicken. Rinse the chicken thoroughly under cool water and remove any fat that can be pulled off with your hands. I like to cook my chicken in a slow cooker. It's easy and comes out incredibly tender. Just add the chicken to the cooker without spice or liquid and cover and cook on low for seven to eight hours. Or you can boil the chicken on the stovetop. Put rinsed chicken in a large saucepan. Cover with cold water to about an inch above the chicken and add one tablespoon of salt. Cover with a lid and bring to a boil over high heat. Once it's reached a boil, remove the lid and immediately reduce heat to medium-low. Cook uncovered for an hour until juices run clear or internal temp reaches 170 degrees. When handling raw chicken, it's important to always remember to wash your hands and all utensils that came in contact with the chicken with antibacterial soap and hot water. Today, I'm steaming my broccoli. First, add about one teaspoon salt to a large saucepan. Add a steamer insert and then fill with cold water up to the bottom of the insert. Next, thoroughly rinse the broccoli and cut off the bottom end. Strip the outside layer of the broccoli trunk like this and then cut in pieces, separating the broccoli tree at the branches. Add to the pot and cover. Bring to a boil over high heat and then reduce to medium low. Cook only until al dente or still firm when poked with a fork. Drain thoroughly. While the broccoli is steaming, it's time to mix up the sauce. Mix the chicken soup, mayonnaise, and cumin together thoroughly. I've started preheating my oven to 350 degrees, and while that's heating up, it's time to assemble our casserole. So I'm gonna start with our broccoli, and I just like to kind of zigzag it back and forth with what we call the trunk end of the tree one direction, the leafy end the other way. So what I'm trying to do is get good coverage in the pan. Okay, so we've got all of our broccoli in. Next step is to add our chicken. And rather than shredding it, I like to have some meaty pieces in there. So I just break off pieces about like so and layer it on top of the broccoli. Taking care to break it up so I don't have great big chunks because that's a little unpleasant and difficult to eat, especially for the kids. But I just don't want to shred it all up and make it mushy. If you go with totally shredded chicken, you'll have a more mushy casserole. Still tastes great, but I prefer the texture of some bigger pieces of chicken. And I think I probably cooked about a half a breast more than I needed. So I'm just gonna set this to the side, put it in the fridge, and it's gonna make great quesadillas or I can slice it up for sandwiches or whatever. So no worries, not gonna waste it. Now here we have our sauce. Oh, maybe a little more right there. Okay, now I'm happy. Now we're gonna go ahead and pour all of this sauce all over the top. I want to be sure that I cover all of the chicken because if it's sticking out of the sauce, the chicken will definitely dry out as it's baking in the oven. So you want to make sure that all of it is covered with sauce. There we go, looking good. And then the last step is to add cheese. Now, 
that's kind of up to your preference. Personally, I'm one of those, there's never enough cheese people. So I really like to load it on. And I think that looks pretty good. You heard my oven beep, so it's ready. And so is our casserole. So this is gonna go into that 350 degree oven for anywhere from about 45 minutes to an hour. And then we'll take a look. I know a lot of people enjoy this casserole as a standalone dish, but in our family, we always place it on a bed of freshly steamed cow rose rice. This casserole took 55 minutes to cook. I could tell it was ready because I could see the sides bubbling and the cheese was thoroughly melted and starting to brown. In our family, this is just called casserole and our gang will feast on it for days. It's good, wholesome comfort food that's become a family tradition. And food traditions are important because they're just one more way that family is built at your dinner table. If you feed them, they will come. All to the family.